Hello everybody, today we have beautiful gaming laptop MSI GF63 Tin 11 UC It's an Intercore i5 11 Gen with RTX 3050 graphics and 144Hz screen Beautiful gaming laptop Let's take it apart, let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade Okay, let's start with the bottom screws. And one more here in the middle. Okay, now we have to separate the bottom case. So find a gap where you can put your priming tool and separate both parts. Use only plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your parts. Okay, work your way around the edge until you disconnect all the clips. So let's take out all this hinge cover. We might have some screws underneath. Let's see. So our bottom is out, here we have the part number, now we have access to all the internal components, so let's start with disconnecting the battery, so actually I will first disconnect the battery, we don't want to cause any short, okay, now let's take it out, Be gentle, it's kind of flimsy. All right, the battery is out. Here we have our model number under this adhesive. Now we can take out the memory, so spread the arms. And this is how you can take out. So if the memory is bad or you would like to upgrade to the bigger one, this is how you can do it. Now that's our storage. So that's the NVMe SSD drive. So if your laptop doesn't boot or you would like to upgrade to the bigger storage, that's how you do it. Here we have the model number. Now let's Disconnect our speakers. So if your sound doesn't work or it's bad, this is how you can replace it. Here the cable is routed to the second speaker on the opposite side, so you have to be gentle with this. Let's see. 
goes here. All right. So that's how we take out the speaker, both speakers. Here we have the part number. Okay, now we can take out our cooling. So if your cooling doesn't work, laptop overheats or fan is making the grinding noise or doesn't spin, replace this part. So unscrew the heatsink from the processor and from the GPU. They both are soldered on the motherboard. And unscrew the screws for the fan. Unplug the fan connector from the motherboard. Okay, video cables in our way, so I will disconnect it. It's rooted here through the fan. All right, this is how we take out the heatsink fan assembly. Here we have the part numbers. So now we are pulling out. Oh, let's check here. That's our Wi Fi card. So if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, replace this part. Okay, disconnect our, the antenna. And take out one screw and you can take out the whole Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model part number. So now we are pulling out our motherboard. Here we are disconnecting the keyboard and touchpad. Okay, I always close the connectors, otherwise they may break off. That's our model number, part number. And that's our palm rest and keyboard assembly. So let's disconnect it from the screen. So take out the screws for the hinges. Now gently unfold hinges so we can take out the palm rest. Okay, our video cable goes here. All right, so that's our keyboard touchpad palm rest assembly, usually sold in one piece. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. That's our 144 hertz screen. Usually sold in one piece. Screen is very fragile, so you may break it if you replace just the LCD. So look for the whole assembly. That's probably the best. Here we have the model part number on the video cable. That's how it looks like. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.